The Gadget Inspector. What's good, everybody? It's your cousin, the Gadget Inspector, back at you once again. Uh, so I got something to show you. Um, thinking about doing a series of videos called Toolbox Tuesday, where I just kind of um, show you guys some things I'm working on. Um, like for instance, um, modding, doing some modifications to my Turing G9X. Um, and stuff like the SkyRC balance charger. Um, and a lot of the peripherals and cables and stuff that I'm getting. As I'm getting more and more involved in this hobby, you know, I'm finding that you um, you can have a lot of fun with everything stock and everything as is, but you can you can also make improvements um, that will keep you from spending a whole lot of money. Like this, by the time I'm done with it, I'm hoping that it will um, perform uh, well enough that I don't have to go out and splurge and get a, um, what do you call it? A, uh, what do you call those things, man? You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Tyrannus, <laughs> a Tyrannus, maybe one day, but not right now. Uh, so anyway, we're, I'm gonna show you guys all of the modifications I've done to this thing so far. And what I'm gonna do in these videos, I'm gonna give you links in the description. I'm gonna show you everything that I've purchased, where I purchased it. Um, now, I've been using a lot of uh, YouTube tutorials. I'm gonna show you there's tons of these things out on YouTube. Some of them aren't as good as others. I'm going to show you the ones that I think are the best ones. So if you're looking to do something similar to what you see here, I'm going to lay it out to where you can you can follow the steps. A, B, C, one, two, three, baby. So um, so that's kind of the purpose of these videos. So we'll see how it goes. It's stuff that I'm doing. Um, so we'll see, man. Hopefully they're interesting and people and someone will find them useful it's like the little boy that's out on the beach and you know starfish keep getting washed up onto the to the uh to the beach and he's picking up as many as he's as he can and he's throwing them back in the ocean and an old man sees this this little boy doing this and he's like little boy what are you doing all, all that's going to happen is these 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 starfish are going to wash right, right back up on the beach it's it's futile it doesn't matter and the little boy looks back at the old man as he picks up a starfish and throws it back in the ocean. And he looks at him and he says, it matters to this one. So maybe one of you will find this useful. I don't know where that came from or why I shared that story. So anyway, uh, just bear with your boy. All right, so here's what I wanna show you guys. So. The Turner G9X, I got this from Hobby King. Um, I got it for real cheap. I had some points. I bought my X380 from there, and I had some uh, points from some other things I had purchased. Um, so I essentially got this for free. I just paid for shipping. Um, but I'm just now getting to the point where I need to use it. I'm starting to get into um, uh, programmable uh, quads, quads with a pro programmable um, uh, board. Uh, so I've got the Eashin QX90C on its way and I figured man um, I got this thing laying around why don't I get it ready so that I can actually use it. So here's what I've done. I'll just walk through all the modifications I've done so far. I have more to do uh, but one of the first things I did is I put a backlight in it. Um, so stock, the Turner G9X does not have a backlight. So if you're in lower light conditions, even in bright light conditions, it is, it's kind of hard to see the screen um, without any backlight. So I did that, super easy to do. Uh, I think the, um, the backlight was like 12 bucks. Uh, and I think I got it out on Amazon. Again, I'll put descriptions out there. I'll also put links to the tutorials I use that I found useful. So if you have this 9X or you plan on getting one and you want to do it, trust me, very, very easy modification. No soldering or anything like that. So that was uh, that was easy and straightforward. The other thing I did now, uh, the 9X 
comes with a um, this is uh, eight AA batteries. It's a battery tray, and there's a two uh, S balance uh, uh, plug on the end of it, and it plugs right into the back of the uh, transmitter right here. Now, obviously this thing will drain these batteries quite frequently and I actually don't find it safe to use AA batteries like that. You can be out in the field flying uh, and run out of batteries and I think this thing does have a, um, well, I know it has an indicator that shows you how many volts, um, the current volts are there uh, in the transmitter but I don't know that it has like an alarm or anything like that. Anybody that has one of these that knows that let me know in the comments but I haven't seen that anywhere where anyone has indicated that so what I did <clears throat> is um, I pulled this thing out and I found a uh, this is a life battery an LIFE rather than lipo and I think the difference is in um, just the, the components um, that make up the battery are different and there's different uh, sort of different discharge rate and I guess for this type of transmitter this type of use the life is a lot more reliable uh, in terms of voltage um, levels and discharge levels than um, the lipo so I think this was like 12 bucks 12 to 15 bucks again out on Amazon it's a Hobby King battery you can get them out on uh, Hobby King as well if you, if you feel like waiting for it to ship but it comes with these uh, two uh, balance cables on the end and this is a 3s balance cable right here and this is uh, this is a 2s cable but it's it's much different than the standard 2s uh, plug that you'll find on uh, 2s lipo batteries and even on the um, the the battery tray that comes with the transmitter so um, initially I thought it wouldn't work I thought I would have to cut off one of the cables and solder on uh, you know a two uh, proper 2s plug but this sort of servo looking um, plug here actually fits right into the 2S uh, cable here, cable plug in the back of the transmitter. It fits in there nicely. Oh, I got that backwards. The only thing you have to make sure of, I mean it fits perfectly. The only thing you want to be careful of is polarity. Just make sure uh, that you have the proper polarity and all I did to, to, to make sure that is um, I took a look at how the original plug goes in the power is on the right the ground is on the left so I just plugged it in correspondingly and voila nice and easy okay and the battery fits in here perfectly it's not a tight fit it's not a loose fit it's kind of a perfect fit and uh, so I can charge that up and not have to worry about continuously purchasing AA batteries okay that's in there all right now the other modification that I've done is to the module the stock module and antenna so this is what comes with the Turnigy 9X. Uh, it's the FlySky protocol. Um, I think it's uh, the new generation AFHD. I don't remember exactly, um, but it's it's not the. I don't think it's the older protocol. Um, so, but anyway, I wanted to, to um, transition from FlySky to FR Sky or Free Sky and so it was really simple to do again I found a really great tutorial on YouTube that I followed it was super simple to do now there is a little bit of soldering to do here to get the uh, antenna off but you're just you know removing the solder um, and actually you don't even have to do that you can really just cut this uh, antenna off and pull it right on out of there if you want I decided to, to take this route just in case I want to 
use it again or I don't know whatever um, but I took that off and I got an FR Sky DJT telemetry module okay so this would allow this will allow me to bind to FR Sky receivers um, similar to um, the protocol that the Tyrannus is on and this was super simple to do um, you know there are a few things that you have to do to kind of make sure this thing will fit in here uh, but again no soldering very very simple to do you just take your time follow the steps and you're golden all right so um, what else did we do oh now those are the modifications that I did um, and I am waiting on my QX 90 C to come and that's when I'm gonna you know kind of go through uh, the transmitter and get familiar with it but I had to get it set up for a quadcopter and to get all of the channels set up uh, for a programmable um, quadcopter such as the Q, uh, QX90C so I found another video out on YouTube um, I want you guys to check out um, a guy's channel it's JT Gravity RC I believe that's it I want to put put the name up in the description box I also put it up on the screen just to make sure I have it right this guy did a, a tremendous job in explaining how to set your uh, your uh, transmitter it can be a fly sky it can be a tur uh, turn 9x they're pretty much all the same um, he walks you through how to set up everything your program mixes he even goes into dual rates um, very very thorough job so I, I want you guys to I want you guys to go check his channel out uh, especially if you're looking to do this he's got some other cool stuff on his uh, on his channel as well so um, so that's that just a little commercial for J gravity RC okay all right now I could talk a whole lot more but I don't want to draw this thing out um, for next week since I'm going to plan on doing this every week every Tuesday toolbox Tuesday next week um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the SkyMax RC um, B6 mini balance charger I highly highly recommend that you have a balance charger in your life if you're in this hobby um, I just chose to get one of these and uh, we'll talk through uh, all of this next week and the benefits of having it and kind of how to use it and so on and so forth and then the other thing hopefully by next week I have a board coming that will allow me to uh, flash the operating system in the 9x to either uh, open 9x or open TX it's called or ER 9x it's just going to change the operating system the stock operating system is not very intuitive at all it's it's pretty it's just not easy to use and you hear that incessant beeping you can't turn that off I mean it just doesn't give you a whole lot of options um, so we're going to change that uh, but you need a board because the Turnigy 9x does not come with a, um, a USB port uh, or a port that allows you to connect to your um, your PC um, but there is a uh, there's a board that you can buy I think it was 17 bucks again I'll put the link in the description I'll show you exactly what I'm using uh, but again that's coming next week so I won't talk too much more about that uh, also coming uh, I mentioned the QX 90 C I'm gonna have videos coming on that I also got my bugs three uh, but I can't uh, I can't get outside and do the flight test and do all that kind of stuff yet because of the weather but uh, I got something really cool planned for that thing so uh, <laughs> I think you guys will dig it so uh, be on the lookout for that stuff hey thanks for watching the gadget inspector channel I appreciate you guys please subscribe please like the video leave me a comment uh, and uh, I'll talk to you guys in the next video peace